Hey everyone, Dinosaur Studio here, and this is my first ever tutorial uh, on YouTube about how to make, or how I make my comics and anything related to the comics using Procreate. So I'm starting with a blank layer, and I've already chosen a dark color for the background. Let's go ahead and do that so we can see what the lightning will look like on top of it. I'm going to add a new layer with this plus button top right, and I'm going to choose like a lighter color. I'll just go with this yellow that I've previously used. And we're going to go to the brushes, and no matter what, um, uh, I guess, like version of Procreate you have, you should always uh, have this luminance option. So one of the default pens is this light pen I've chosen. There's a light brush, flare, light pen is what we're going to use for this. So I'm going to start uh, with my Apple Pencil from the top left, and just kind of like make my squiggles, make them look kind of erratic. And before I do anything else, I'm going to go up to the layers, swipe left with my pencil, or you could also use your finger, hit duplicate, and we're going to hide that top layer for now. We're going to just work on this bottom one. Um, all right, so we're going to go over to the adjustments panel, um, and we're going to click, uh, let's see, we have Gaussian blur, motion blur, or perspective blur. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use motion blur. That's probably the best one to use for lightning because it shows uh, not only direction, but motion. So let's go ahead and use our pencil, or you could also use your finger to swipe right. And uh, you can see from this top left bar, uh, it, that shows the amount of blur, and you can get all sorts of funky effects by doing that a little bit more. Uh, but for the sake of making it a little bit realistic of a lightning, I'll go about 23%. Awesome. I clicked back on the adjustment uh, icon, and we're going to go back down to chromatic aberration. I'm going to hit layer. And again, we're going to swipe right a bit, and we're going to see just how much we can push it until we get some uh, color blending on the edges, where it looks like you can see that there, it, there's a little bit more blue there where there wasn't before. Uh, we can also mess with the displacement, but it, that might be a little bit too much for this. Uh, maybe we can do just a little bit. All right, I'm going to go back and do it one more time, uh, just adding a little bit more motion blur to the whole image. There we go, making it softer. I'll even add in a little Gaussian blur, just for funsies, just for funsies. We're going to see just how um, much we can push it without it being too over the top. Let's just double check and see if um, anything else happens with adding more uh, chromatic aberration. It might be a little much, but I'm going to just go a little bit over the top more than I normally do for this tutorial. All right, so we have a lot of really fun uh, rainbow-ish uh, effects, and it's really soft. And now we're going to go back and put our original lightning layer on top. Now we could leave it at that, but it's best to hit the little end button and look at the drop down, and then take a look at all the cool um, blending modes we have. Color Dodge adds a lot more brightness. Uh, Add does as well. Uh, lighter color is fun. Overlay is pretty neat, but since this is really an intense um, underlayer. We're probably going to go with the screen that I liked. Lighten, color dodge, lighter color, overlay. I might go with add. Add kind of makes all of the lights blend together to make it a little bit more seamless. And now we have our really cool lightning. Um, and that's using two layers. Um, and then you can go ahead and on a separate layer, go to any sort of foliage brush. Um, make sure that whatever green you use, it's going to be like really dark, uh, like almost black. Um, that way we can emphasize the lightning. And I already have some uh, Jubilee brushes I like to use uh, for, um, I guess, like my bushes and trees. This is a brush that I started using a little bit later into my comic making. but. I don't know, I kind of just really like the soft anime style of these kinds of leaves and brushes. I'm just going to work it around. And as you can tell, like since the blue is already like kind of dark, the green looks almost like brighter against it. So I'm going to go a little bit darker. And that way it can show like where the lightning is hitting. It's illuminating um, the parts of the leaves that are in front or closest to the lightning and I'm going to go almost pure black and do one more layer for good measure. 
Um, so there you go. That's the basics of making your little lightning scene. You can add clouds, you can add stars, whatever you want later. But now you know how to do some lightning. Woo! Thanks for watching!